Hi everyone, thanks so much for coming back to my channel. This is Tina with Tina's Craft Creations. I'm on today with a quick Dollar Tree haul. Um, I actually went to two different Dollar Trees today. Um, as I had mentioned in another uh, Dollar Tree video, I have not been to Dollar Tree over the last few weeks because I was, you know, getting ready to travel and then I was traveling. And um, so I went to two different stores today just to see if they had anything new and I found a few things but not a whole lot so one thing that I did find which I have yet to see um, in my stores until now is the crafters uh, square faux leather so um, they were actually getting in the process of putting this out it was on the the little pallet thing and they had the box open so I went ahead and picked up one of each color that was in the box so I got the black faux leather the white uh, this like light brown, like a camel brown color, and I bought uh, the navy blue. So I got those um, to see, so I could have it on hand if I want to make like some bows or something, um, because I don't know how long the faux leather will last in my stores. Um, I also picked up this little sign for Christmas. I just thought it was pretty, and I wanted to pick it up while they actually had it. Alright, I also picked, found some new little candle, some candle holders for Halloween. I got this little pumpkin, this little ghost, and this little Frankenstein. The Frankenstein's new. I definitely haven't seen him before, and I think this pumpkin is new. I've seen ghosts in the past, but I'm not sure if it was like this one or not. So I got those. thought they were really adorable. Um, I had bought, in my other Dollar Tree video, I bought some... Um, hot cocoa mix and they had some marshmallow cream fluff um, so I picked some up to have with my hot chocolate um, I saw these in the um, school section these are little wooden magnets I have an idea to decorate these now these could obviously be painted because they're just like a light wood um, I thought they would be really cute if you decorate them and then send them off in some happy mail and then if someone wants to put them on their fridge or if they have a little like magnetic board in their craft room, it would be a cute little um, magnetic embellishment. So I picked one pack up to decorate them. Um, I also picked up some of these miniature trees. Now this is in like the Winter Village area. Um, I got them in this like green color and this pink color. I want to use these for decorating um, when I start decorating my Christmas or decorating for Christmas upstairs. I thought these would be cute to just kind of pop in around my tiered tray. So I got the green and the pink or if I decorate down here in my craft room. Um, I picked up some organza bags in red. I couldn't remember if I picked up the red before so I went ahead and picked up a couple. I wanted to have them on hand for Christmas and Valentine's Day. Um, speaking of Christmas and Valentine's Day, I also picked up some packs, a pack of the Faber boxes. Now this is actually more so for like summer because it reminds me of like a traditional popcorn box. And I thought this would be really cute for a summer project like next year sometime. But for Christmas and Valentine's Day, I did pick up some of the gift sacks in the red and white, um, chevron stripe and the red and white polka dot um because so i thought these would be cute to have on hand to make maybe some mini loaded bags or something um you guys know i've been buying these wall borders i picked up the gold um i have picked up in the past the red the silver uh, like holographic the pink and the turquoise and i finally found the gold so uh, i got those um this is an idea that i had for sequin mixes they had these little infant flatware spoons in the baby section in the pink and the purple and they also had green and blue you get um 12 pieces of so six of each color for a dollar 25 and these would be really cute to send off with some sequin mixes you could probably punch a hole through these they're not super thick and you could add a little dangle or something but i thought these would be really cute for sequin mix spoons so yeah got those um, and then the last couple things are not crafty related, but I just picked them up. Uh, I want to try this facial ice roller. It says you can keep it in the fridge. And, um, I tip, I always have puffy eyes underneath my eyes, like bags under my eyes. So I'm going to try this and see if it'll work. I don't know if it will, but for $1.25 it's worth trying. Uh, also I just wanted to get like a little face scrubber brush. So I got this. I had a Clarisonic type thing a while ago and it 
quit working and I just haven't bought a new one so I just thought I'd try something like that just in the interim and then the last thing I got is a new um, body bath puff with wooden handle so this is just a little shower sponge scrunchy thing on a stick to like wash your back <laughs> so definitely not crafty related but it's in with my Dollar Tree stuff so I figured I'd th show it to you as well um, so yeah that is my quick little Dollar Tree haul if anyone has any questions please let me know if you have not already I would greatly appreciate if you would consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next video bye everyone